Hello everyone. Today's devotional reading will be from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verses 41 through 51, where it is written. Now every year his parents went to Jerusalem for the festival of the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up as usual for the festival. When the festival was ended and they started to return, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know it. Assuming that he was in the group of travelers, they went a day's journey. Then they started to look for him among their relatives and friends. When they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem to search for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting among the teachers, listening to them, and asking them questions. No who heard him were amazed at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished, and his mother said to him, Child, why have you treated us like this? Look, your father and I have been searching for you in great anxiety. And he said to them, Why were you searching for me? Do you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he said to them. Then he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. His mother treasured all these things in her heart. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. This one is close to home. I remember hearing stories growing up of how I was at a county fair once with my dad and he lost me and my mom was, you lost Nick. And um, I remember about a year ago, my kids actually got out of the house and I didn't know where they were. And when I saw them and hugged them, I was in tears that they were okay and safe. Now imagine Mary and Joseph going through this. An angel, an angel showed up and said, you're gonna give birth to God. She goes to visit her cousin. Immediately, the Lord is here inside of you. At the nativity, strangers come in to celebrate. He's here. <gasps> At eight days, they go to the Jerusalem temple dedicated to the Lord. The righteous Simeon, he's here. Four for four. <laughs> and that's in the span of less than a year. Now the kid's 12. And you go to Jerusalem, a great festival, a bustling city. And you come home. Hey, where's Jesus? Oh, he must be with the neighbors or with the friends. And hey, where is he? Wh and uh, three days. I just imagine Mary throwing Jesus into a bear hug in tears, so happy to see him. And I think the situation was reversed. Decades later, when Mary's earthly life did end, I can imagine her son holding, it's his mom, holding her in a bear hug, going, Mom, I love you. I'm so glad you're here. A joyous reunion repeated. Except now Jesus is the one crying and holding his mom, whereas here in the text, I can imagine Mary in tears holding her son. The point being, God cares. He has a family. He had a mom. He had a dad. He had a community. And he cared about each and every one of them, just as he cares about each and every one of us. And he became human for this purpose, that when our earthly lives end, just like Mary and Jesus, we can have that same joyous reunion in his presence. Yes, we're sinners. Yes, we're not worthy. But his love for us is such that he becomes human to lift us up, to take this mount off of us, of our sin, to die on the cross, to forgive us. And we're forgiven. We repent and it's no more. It's forgotten. And like him, we'll rise up in the last day because in God assuming human nature, the way it does applies to all humans, we'll all rise and rise in faith and repentance to the glorious resurrection we can embrace jesus mary the saints have gone before us as one heavenly family the cares concerns of this world forgotten just imagine there feeling the, the bear hug jesus and mary and the saints are going to give you and me and everyone because that's how much they love us it's powerful stuff do we deserve any of this no like a brandy teenager times a million, we push them away and do terrible things to hurt them. But they still love us. Jesus still loves us. He's still ready, willing, and able to forgive. That's why he came. That's why he went to the cross. That's why he went to the realm of the dead to destroy the forces of evil. That's why he rose again from the dead. For the sake of that joyous reunion. Because he loves us that much. That's the hope and joy of that reunion is what keeps us going. Knowing that every person we meet, we can tell them about Jesus. They can join us in that hopeful, joyful reunion. It's coming and it's inevitable.
something to look forward to. Let us close the prayer. Lord, help us to always be repentant, to always be loving, to always be strong in faith, so that reunion will truly be a wonderful time.